I am. This is gonna be, uh, oh shit. This is, um, Instagram Q&A with Joe the fucking Laney part two, sat on a windowsill in a fucking hat, vibes, being a cool motherfucker. Okay, would you ever compete? Yes, did compete uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, was not ready. I just jumped in it because of YOLO and that, and I was dead small and did dead shit and didn't place and like, I just did it kind of off the bat. And to be honest, I'm not. I would never compete again. Don't never say never, obviously. But I'm not interested in competing whatsoever at the moment. It just just does not interest me, man. Just does not interest me. Uh, have you ever been to Russia? No. Would though. Uh, how does one become such a positive, vibey motherfucker like yourself? Um, I don't, know, I don't know, obviously I mentioned the last one about being, about, obviously I've just been lucky as fuck with like the majority of my life and so it's, it's easy to be positive as fuck isn't it, it's not like really any great achievement but at the same time I think I've got a good appreciation for shit man and that's just a case of subjecting yourself to enough, you know, enough of the right shit whether it's people or like, you know, the books that you read or, the me or like media or like anything, you know it's a fucking upward spiral, man. If you, like, subject yourself to enough shit... Obviously, there is bad in the world. There is a lot of, like, shit that goes on in the world. A lot of bad stuff and that. But I do fucking believe that the good, like, greatly outweighs the bad. And I think if you experience enough, you fucking will come to that conclusion too. And then everything's fucking cool. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few things, like, that I think are, like, the core pr principles behind being a vibey motherfucker. You know, um... A appreciation for fucking like just the little things as well man just like taking pleasure in the little things um you know and not being like stressed about stupid shit that that's with that's not in your control obviously stress can be good if it's in you know directed in the right way towards the right things when it's something you know when it, when it's a precursor to you developing as a person but when it's shit that you can't fucking change you know you know be stressed on the lead up to a fucking exam yeah but when you've taken the exam and you're waiting for your result, don't be fucking stressed, man, because it's, it's just shit you can't, you can't, you know, change and so. Um, where the fuck am I? What am I about? Appreciate the little things, like, uh, psh, motherfucker. Obviously, obviously, it's not all about mentality. You need to fucking alter your circumstances, man. Like, the reason I'm so fucking happy is because live in a nice little fucking place, I've got a job that I like, you know, I've got mates that are fucking, you know, like, every, everything about my life is something that has been purposely, you know, people say, you've, you're, you're lucky, you know, but are you lucky if you fucking do it yourself? Are you fucking not, man? Because you have to, you know, manufacture your own circumstances because they play a big part and you can only be so, you know, appreciative of the now and all that and, like, you know, you can look at the bright side of everything and be that kind of, and try and, you can put a positive spin on everything but still, your circumstances are still always going to have a major impact. Uh, right, where the fuck am I? I don't know, I went, I digressed a lot, man. Right. Uh, how are you so lean year round? I can get that lean for like a month at the most, and then pizza. You just don't, just take off the pizza. Um, why are you not at Tomorrowland? Because I'm trying to save money for like Ibiza and fucking New York and Canada and Australia and shit. Uh, is it quality over quantity in Ibiza or you two, me and Tommy B, all about the end tally? No, we're not about end tally at all, man. We're all about just experience. Whether it's quality or quantity, it's not like, we're all about the experience, man. We're not even that, we're not like hung up on how many fucking birds that everyone gets and that stupid shit to play that game. If you do play that game, then your quality suffers, you know, and if you, you know, I don't know, man. We take it by... I've never even thought about that, really. See as it comes. How are you going to make it? I fucking do not know, man. Just by vibing all the way to the top. What are your plans? Vibe, your dreams. Um, just be known... We should be known as the vibiest motherfucker in town. Um, you're a positive inspiration, man. Keep up. Thanks, appreciate that, genuinely. Um, cool, that is good. But, yeah, uh, actual plans, dreams... I don't know, man. Fuck knows. I just want, ultimately, like, I want to have a fucking positive impact somehow, you know, <laughs> people say, like, oh, yeah, you know, you've like, motivation to go to the gym and that, fair one, you know, that's decent, and if someone's getting in better shape or whatever, and I'm in some way able to help that, then that's great, but 
I also believe that I can probably make more of a positive impact than that at some point. But I do believe that you have to fucking build yourself up and, you know, obviously the more kind of, I don't know, I do think that you've got to be selfish for a while and, and you know, become someone who's able to help, you know, develop fucking, you know, thing, things about yourself that will enable you to give, you know, I do want to contribute in some way to the fucking world, um, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard isn't it, to, to weigh up, like, which way to go with fucking life, do you want to, you know, just, just go for pure experiences and just do sick shit all the time and just chase fucking adrenaline rushes and chase, like, the high of, like, just mad fucking crazy different experiences and that is fucking one thing in it, but, or do you want to, like, do you want to contribute to fucking society and humanity or, you know, do you want to, you know, there's a million, of, there's so many ways that you just, you have to find a blend of everything, don't you? And fuck knows, man. That's why, you know, there's fucking deep questions I've got a fucking clue. Right, where am I? Do you change macros for a rest day? No, because you can't calculate exactly it's so difficult to do your calories day by day and macros. You don't know how much different your requirements are in that 24 hour period. And it's not like your body knows what a day is, you know, or in terms of like your requirements anyway, it's not, you know, that's why you need to work on an average because if you're gonna try and manipulate your calories every fucking day, you know, based on like, you have to start measuring like how hard you trained and trying to work out exact calorie expenditure. It's crazy. It's like so so difficult to do that exactly that there's literally no point trying a lot better working on averages you know for your whole weeks you know so yeah no boom 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 are you gonna be at body power in Ireland this year nah I'll be in uh, Australia by the time so so's gonna wrap that up start a new one